I wanted to compare YOLO V4 and YOLO V4 Tiny. Then for YOLO V4 Tiny, I also wanted to compare when tiling is enabled, as well as tiling plus crop and zoom, two features of Dark Help and Dark Mark that I'd used in the past to solve problems with other neural networks. This is what it looks like, but let me show you how we got here. You are looking at my Ubuntu 2004 VM. You can see I have 23 video files I used to create this project. The bottom section shows the details on these 23 video files. The first few are 640 by 480 and the rest are 1920 by 1080. Most of the videos are 30 frames per second, but I have a few which are 60 frames per second. Let me show you what that looks like in Dark Mark. I imported 100 random frames from each video into Darkmark, giving me a total of 2,300 image files. From that total, I then annotated a random 100 of those frames. This was then used to train four networks. The first one was YOLO v4, second one is YOLO v4 Tiny. The next one was YOLO v4 Tiny with tiling enabled, like this. And the last one also had the random crop and zoom option enabled. As you can see, the results are quite similar. The biggest difference is the time it takes the neural network to process frames. YOLO v4 takes 13 to 14 milliseconds on my GPU for each 1920 by 1080 frame. YOLO v4 Tiny takes 2 milliseconds. And the two YOLO v4 tiny networks with tiling use 15 tiles each at this dimension, meaning each one takes 30 milliseconds per frame. Let me focus on the few differences between the networks in some of these videos. Take a look at the soccer ball in the YOLO v4 tiny network. It is small enough that within the 1920 by 1080 frame, it is on the edge of being detected and as you can see without tiling, it sometimes goes undetected. Even when using SD 640 x 480 video, where the soccer ball is a greater percentage of each frame, YOLO v4 Tiny without tiling sometimes has trouble finding the soccer ball. The ball at the back of the field in the last frame where it is correctly detected by Darknet and YOLO v4 only measures 7 by 7 pixels. I loaded up this exact frame in GIMP to measure the size of the ball. This clip happens to be one of the videos recorded at 640 by 480 and it highlights the limits of what can be detected in an image. I checked in Darkmark and by chance there were zero annotated frames from this particular video. Everything you see here comes from training the neural network with the other 100 random frames. YOLO v4 sometimes has problems as well, though these are probably due to not enough images and not enough training. In this instance, the neural network sometimes confuses the end of the white post for the soccer ball. And in this clip, a section of trees is mistaken for one of the players. But nevertheless, the results are still very nice. For the most part, YOLO v4 and YOLO v4 Tiny behave in very similar ways. The obvious next step, of course, would be to train with more than just 100 images, as the current project is very limited in what it can detect. I leave you with this video showing the tiny differences between these four neural networks. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please join us on the Darknet YOLO Discord. I'll leave a link to it in the description below.